All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and we have got celebration info for JP for Saiyan Day. Now, Global will probably get their celebration info at the usual time um, in, like, eight or so hours or something like that, right? Um, so, you know, just JP has their info, but Global is indeed going to get it, too, so I would not be too concerned. Now, there isn't a lot here. Um, I don't think this is too big of an issue. You know, I already I see people are saying, oh my god, there's no easy A in the celebration. <laughs> nah, there's no way. That, 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 I, I can't think of the, any celebration that has not had an easy A unit, right? I mean, yeah, you know, JP is getting the easy A kid Gohan. Global, unfortunately, is not getting him. Stupid, I know. Listen, I, <laughs> it's, it's ridiculously dumb that Global is not getting the extreme suit battle at the same time. I agree, especially because the last time, they released new Super Battle Road stages. It was for both Global and JP during the 300 million download celebration. So obviously Global should be getting a stream Super Battle Road right now. Who cares if Global has not had the EZ8 LR Zamasu? Just bring it out early. It doesn't... Who gives a shit, right? Release the equipment now for Global. It would be weird to just drop the Whis event, but just do it. it who cares, right? Like, I, that's what I think they should do. Um, they didn't do it, though, unfortunately. But that Gohan is not... Like, it's not like, oh, Gohan is like the Saiyan Day EZ8. That's not the case. And they're going to have an easy A. Maybe it's an Extreme Z area because um, people did point out that the free-to-play Bardock units, their leader skills, low-class warrior, two-key, and 50% of stats, those are the, the type of units that usually easy A up to 77%. The only thing with that is I thought the easy A, like the free-to-play units are very good already. If they're going to easy A, they're going to be insane. Like that's going to be really good. So we'll see if that does happen, but... You know, there will be at least an easy area during this celebration. I think they're just hiding it. So, actually, the fact that they're hiding it makes me think it might be something hype. Like, again, you know, maybe Mass Saiyan plus all you know, the Super Saiyan Bardocks and Super Saiyan 2 Bardock. Maybe they all easy A next week. But if you guys remember last year, um, Blue Vegeta and the, you know, uh, Rage Trunks easy A'd during Saiyan Day celebration. Um, you know, remember, it is a two-week celebration. It only goes until April 2nd. That At that point, that's when Blue Kaioken Goku um, is actually going to be coming out um, on JP, right? Uh, Blue Kaioken Goku, it was confirmed in V-Jump, uh, is the next Dokkan Festival exclusive. And again, I, I think he is going to be coming out sometime around, uh, like, like, February 1st to 5th in there, right? That's pretty much when I think we're going to go ahead and see it. So, all right, so we got, you know, login bonus, missions, nothing really too crazy. I don't recognize this art of crying baby Goku here. It's still weird to me that they didn't give us Kid Goku from Dragon Ball Super Broly, but we got the other version, Kid characters. That was odd. Like, the three faded Saiyans, but we get two of the three Saiyans. Like, very bizarre, right? Um, now... Here's the Dokkan Fest exclusive banner, um, Bardock and uh, Raditz, right? So we have the release schedule right here. Um, as you guys can see, the banner drops, what, 12, 14, 15, like 15 or so hours from now. Uh, the banner will drop. I am planning on doing a stream, obviously, at that time. Uh, of course, I'm going to rainbow Bardock. Now, Raditz is quite good. Um, and we got the news today from V-Jump Leaks that um, it appears as though we're going to be getting an LR Prime Battle Krillin. Like, dude, JP is moving so insanely fast, it's unbelievable. Like, we're getting so many LRs on JP. Like, Kid Gohan gets his EZA, and then in two weeks we're getting the Prime Battle LR Krillin. Like, it's just insanity at this point. But um, they're... They're really starting to buff up the Saiyan Saga a little bit, like, all of a sudden, right? Like, all of a sudden, it's like, whoa, 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 there's a couple Saiyan Saga units coming. So, uh, I think I might go for the Rainbow on Raditz, even if I get shafted on him. We'll see. Um, now, Bardock, of course, you know, I talked about it. I, I think he's very good. I need to use him more, but I would probably rate him slightly below Beerus and Cooler, right? Like, I, I think Beerus is a little bit better than Cooler, but maybe you think Cooler's a bit better. Regardless, they're close. Beerus and Cooler are definitely close, right? Whichever one you think is better, is, I don't think that's really that important because they're both right up there. They're crazy. Bardock is super good, but I don't think he's quite on their level. I will say this, though. The revenge category... Now, at the moment, I recorded a video on this revenge category... Um, I'll put that up later today, right? I, there's just, I've recorded like 20 videos in the last two days. <laughs> like, it's crazy. But the revenge category is very good, even if they're, even if there's some really bad emissions from the category. It's very strong, right? And Bardock is very strong. And the other thing too, 
um, about Bardock is that he has maybe the best transformation condition in the entire game in that he can transform right away if there's a Wicked Bloodline enemy, and then from the fourth turn. Like, fourth turn is beautiful. Any units that have fourth turn active skills or transformations or anything like that is absolutely amazing, so that's really good. He does stack defense as well. Bardock is very strong, right? Um, then, of course, we also have Raditz here. Raditz is going to be maybe a top five unit for um, Super Battle Road, something in there. Um, as of right now, He's only on the pure... There's only the pure Saiyan category stage that he's a part of. But, I mean, that is one of the more difficult ones. But, I mean, he has a high chance of stunning from his super. Um, then, if there's two enemies, he just guaranteed stuns. And reduces damage by 50% received. And then, he has 50% additional attack and a high chance of performing a crit. When there's a Goku or Namekian category enemy. Oh, interesting. Okay, so the translations we saw before were wrong. Okay, okay wow, he's way better. Okay, because before, it was like, I thought it was stun, he had the guaranteed stun, and then I thought he had the additional stun as well, going up against a Goku family or Namekian, but no, he has a 50% a chance of a crit against a Goku family or Namekian category enemy. Wow, this Raditz is super good, man. He is really, really good. Um, So that's like, that's awesome. Like, you know, we don't have a good Nappa. You know, we don't really have a good Saiyan Saga. Ve well, we do have a good Saiyan Saga Vegeta, but not a good Great Ape Saiyan Saga Vegeta, who is like, you know, the boss of that arc. So this is really good. This Raditz is really strong. And because of how badly he'll dominate, um, whatchamacallit, um, Super Battle Road, I definitely want to get this man rainbowed. So I'm probably going to go ahead and go for the rainbow on him. Um, again, you know, we saw the banner is coming tonight, you know, 15 hours or so. Um, here's the revenge category, summon banner. Again, I'll have a video coming out in a little bit talking about the revenge category and how ass it is. Uh, stone sale. Ooh, nice. Oh, it's, oh, okay, good. It's a big time sale. Oh, beautiful. I mean, right now, Akatsuki, we can't be greedy. Like y'all, you know, they're spitting out so many banners nonstop. It's like, you got to give us good sales, man. You got to do that. Um, Bardock gets a Dokkan event. Um, I don't think that's the, a, an addition to his, I think that's a new event, not like an addition to the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock event. Um, then of course we have this right here. So, you know, this is a permanent event. This is the event that we're able to get all of the free to play Bardock members. Um, here, let me actually just back out on the Dokkan wiki and go to upcoming cards. And again, all of these free to play, uh, Bardock, team Bardock members, they're just like the Ginyu Force, right? Tons of new units, five new units in total. Plus, then the LR, um, the LR Team Bardock, which I think is very good. You know, once the Team Bardock category is implemented in-game, this unit's going to be very strong. Um, it is unfortunate that the Dokkan Fest Bardock does not have the Team Bardock category, but it is actually consistent. My anger with Akatsuki is when they're not consistent with categories. What they're just saying for Dokkan is they're not going to count any Bardock after the Dragon Ball Z special. So after Frieza kills him, they don't count anything beyond that. So Super Saiyan Bardock, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, they're not counting any of that. And again, you know, in case people are unfamiliar, this is not Bardock from the Dragon Ball Z special. This is the, the like, special Bardock episode where he fights Chilled, right? You could see, like, the little houses from old, you know, like, old Planet Vegeta or whatever. Like, this is when he fights Chilled right here. So, um... That's why he's not on the Team Bardock category. I mean, I've seen people say that it's because they didn't want the LR to be able to give him, you know, 60% from their passive, but I don't know if that's true because, listen, even if Bardock was able to get 60% from this unit, I don't think that makes him better than Cooler or Beerus, so that's kind of irrelevant. Like, it's not... Like, I don't want to hear about balancing issues when Blue Vegito and Blue Gogeta exist. I just don't care. Like, that that's definitely not it. They just decided to cut it off, um at the Dragon Ball Z special, right? The entire Team Bardock category is all units from that, you know, uh, history of Bardock, you know, history of Goku, whatever, um, like, TV special right there. Like, you, you can see it. Um, so, you know, it, it's fine. It, it's not it's not really that big of a deal, right? Um, and again, I do want to bring up one of these units just to point out how, again, their leader skill. It does look to me like they're going to easy A. I think at least an easy A area for these five units is possible if that does happen, it's going to be real interesting because at that point, like, uh, would the Ginyu Force get an easy A area or easy A as well? And that would that would be huge, especially because that Ginyu Force category stage right now, like, I don't think it can be no items, right? That's the only stage I have not no item at this moment, so we'll see. Um, regardless, though, this is really awesome, right? Tons of new free-to-play units for everyone is really, really cool. Um, all right, let's go ahead and go back over here. 
Um, and then here we have the new Extreme Super Battle Royale. It looks like it's a different event entirely. So I presume that's why it's not on Global, because it's actually, like, a completely new event. Interesting. Um, everyone, like, again, I, I made this point yesterday. See, people try and clown me sometimes. Like, you know, it. Uh, they showed in Dokkan Now... When Bardock was doing his super attack animations, we could see that he was AGL. And, like, I made a tweet, like, okay, he's most likely going to be AGL because, you know, he was AGL in that video. But during the 300 million download celebration, they showed LR sell as physical. So it's possible Bardock is not AGL. Don't jump the gun yet. And then I had a bunch of people try and clown me. And it's like, Doug, I'm literally just saying don't jump the gun. And then... It happened again where people were like, oh, you know, Super Battle Road is going away on Global in two days. Boom. Global is getting Extreme Super Battle Road. And it's like, well, no, it could mean that Global is going to be getting Super Battle Road every single day during the celebration. And bam, that is indeed what that was, right? And then here's the, Super, the Extreme Super Battle Road, a completely separate event, right? Actually, does the Dokkan Wiki have it up? They probably do. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Um, Challenge. Do they have the Extreme Super Battle Road up? Do they not know what they might not know what what the what's actually in the event yet? Okay, okay, that that would have been cool if we could have seen what was in the event because like right now we don't know. Is that tonight? That is tonight. Uh oh boy. Okay, I guess <laughs> I don't know. I might summon for Bardock. Maybe we'll we'll hop in here and see how difficult the new extreme suit battle it is. Oh boy, it's gonna be a busy night. Busy night indeed. Um, Bardock story event coming back. Oh, that's that's big because Bardock is easily farmable from that. Wait, here, let me head back over. Scene, and... Yeah, can be farmed. Yep, okay, so Bardock is easily farmed from that event. There we go, that's very good. Um, Elder Kai banner's always there, three-day weekend stuff, and then an SNS campaign, you know, on Twitter. Global will probably have a Facebook version there, but as you can see, that's it. That's it, That that's the end of the celebration info. I'm telling y'all right now, they're hiding the EZA. Do not panic they're hiding the EZA they will reveal it in like a week or whatever because again here let me head back over Saiyan Day is a two-week celebration it's going until what the second or third of April what is it the second of April okay so we get all this new stuff then we're going to get another day to download you know 22nd 23rd 24th that's going to show us the EZA and then the EZA is going to drop it could be an EZA area for the free-to-play Bardock units it could be an, a traditional EZA for the Super Saiyan Bardock's and Mass Saiyan, because again, here, let me quickly show this, and then we're going to end uh, the video. Let me go to Bardock real quick. So the way EZAs work, I mean, everyone it, like obviously knows that this, but the way EZAs work is they're usually tied to the metal, right? So like the EZA will happen for that character, and then all the units like from that event will awaken. Well, the Mass Saiyan event awakens Mass Saiyan, and the two Super Saiyan Bardocks, and then the Super Saiyan 2 Bardocks. So it's possible either Mass Saiyan or all four of them could EZA during Saiyan Day. That's probably best case scenario. That would be nice. Especially if, like, if these two... I mean, Mass Saiyan is going to be really good, right? Like, after he gets his EZA. Um, plus, he's the only Mass Saiyan in the game. He's just a cool character. It would be awesome for him to get an EZA, right? But, I mean, he is pretty limited only to a few teams. But these Bardocks, that's a little bit different. Because, like, this guy... What does he give to the new Bardock? So, Super Saiyan, 10%. Um, Saiyan Pride, so that's 25%. Then they have 50%, 65%, 85%. Is that it? Because does he have Saiyan Pride? Uh, oh, I, I X'd him out, didn't I? Damn it. <laughs> okay. Hold on, hold on. Let me double check that that Bardock has... I think he might not have Saiyan Pride, right? Let me double check. Uh, we'll go to Super Saiyan. Uh, no, yeah, he's got Super Saiyan, Saiyan Pride, Fierce uh, First Awaken, and Fierce Battle. So, uh, it is indeed... The 85% is what this Bardock gives to this AGL Super Saiyan Bardock, which is nuts. If they give this guy an easy 8 and this jumps to 30, 40, 25, anything, that's going to be nuts for that Super Saiyan Bardock. And then the same thing with this guy. You know, this Bardock is great for a lot of units. He's a nice support type unit as well. He doesn't have First Awakened, but he does have Saiyan Pride, Fierce Battle, Super Saiyan. A lot of these uh, links with our boy Bardock. Does this Bardock have Team Bardock? No, he doesn't. Okay, he does have Family Ties, so Saiyan Lineage. So this guy would work well with um, the OG LR Super Saiyan Goku also. But, I mean, there we go. Um, that would be a hell of an easy A. 
Mass Saiyan and the Super Saiyan Bardocks. So I think either that or the EZA area for the free-to-play units. One of those two is what we're going to get from this Saiyan day. And it should be both Global and JP. I, I don't... That's not... The JP exclusive part is the Extreme Suit Battle Road, just like Copy Vegeta from Saiyan Day last year. Again, it's stupid. I, I agree. I, I don't know what to tell y'all. Um, we, you know, at this point this year, Global and JP have been trading Global and JP shafts. I mean, I understand Global players are going to be upset, but I don't want to hear too much complaining about it because, like, you know, JP's had some unfortunate things happen as well lately. Hey, we got top grossing with zero stones, man. Come on. <laughs> People are going to point out Blue Cow Ken Goku, but y'all did get stones with the picture of Blue Cow Ken Goku there. They gave us the top grossing picture of Beerus on it, and then we didn't get jack shit. We didn't get no stones, no box space, no nothing. So it wasn't really that great. Um, let me know what you guys think. Here's the celebration info. Uh, remember, Global will get there is what is it, at 8 p.m., I believe, Eastern? So, you know, like eight hours from now, and I'll catch y'all next time.